Hello guys, we continue talking about filament version 3 this week on this channel and today's topic is multi-tenancy. Topic requested by multiple people in the comments, so this is an example. Are you planning to check multi-tenancy in filament 3? Claudio is saying, could you tap into multi-tenancy in filament 3? Also filament version 3, so many requests here and on Twitter and email multi-tenancy. And why is that? What's so special about it? because Filament 3 has actual concept of multi-tenancy here as a separate menu item in the documentation. Filament version 2 did not have multi-tenancy as a separate thing. It was possible to achieve multi-tenancy, but it was pretty manual. Now you can achieve something like this in Filament with setting up tenancy per panel, like for teams or for companies. But before we get into how to do that, a few disclaimers. Multi-tenancy as a concept is very, very broad and very, very individual. What is multi-tenancy for some people may be totally different for other people. So to me, multi-tenancy per user is when each user sees their own records. That's already multi-tenancy where tenant is user. For many companies and many people, multi-tenancy is per team or per company or per organization. And this is, by the way, filament approach. For others, multi-tenancy necessarily means multi-database, multi-servers and more complex stuff. And also then there's a mix of who can access what records who can edit which users and stuff like that. So it's very, very individual. It's impossible to shoot one video about multi-tenancy. I've tried a few times. I ended up shooting the full course on Laravel Daily Courses. You may find multi-tenancy all you need to know. So in two and a half hours of videos, I haven't even touched on multi-database or deeper applications of some packages. So it's a very, very deep topic. And it's also quite a confusing topic. So I found a few older tweets by Taylor Otwell and he says no longer responding to tweets with multi-tenancy because multi-tenancy may mean multiple things and Taylor cannot really answer any questions without specific details of is a database per customer or stuff like that. And also a few years after that, so that tweet was from 2019. Then in 2021, Taylor asked what people need to know in Q&A and multi-tenancy was still a popular question. And although Taylor has spoken about that multiple times, the topic is so huge that there are a lot of questions about it. So when you ask me about multi-tenancy, please be more specific. What is your type of tenancy? What do you want to achieve with that tenancy and stuff like that? And also a few disclaimers in the filament documentation itself. They specifically state about multi-tenancy being a very sensitive topic it's kind of like disclaimer, like terms and conditions. Like Filament is a tool for you to build multi-tenant application, but Filament as a framework, as a tool, is not responsible for your custom code, custom logic of how you implement that multi-tenancy. In other words, Filament provides the functionality, the functions, the methods, the configuration, but if you misconfigure something, Filament is not responsible and will not kind of blindly guess what you want to achieve exactly. And also there is a security section in the same documentation about what Filament provides, what it does, and what it doesn't do and what are the implications. So I do recommend you to read that all in full if you work with multi-tenancy projects. So enough with the disclaimers. They alone took like three to four to five minutes or something, but I really wanted to make it clear with all the warnings and notices. Now, how Filament 3 does multi-tenancy. First option, the one that I already mentioned, is tenancy by user. And this is actually not a Filament function. So what Filament understands as multi-tenancy is tenancy by team or organization. So they don't have anything special if you want to limit the records to be seen by users. So for example, I create some projects or tasks or something in a filament resource in a CRUD and I want to see only my own records. So filament will not do that for you automatically, but what filament will do if you create a global scope, for example, you have a model, in my case it's a model called membership, and you have this. In the booted method of the model you have global scope and if there is a user logged in, you filter all the records with queries by that user. And what Filament will do, and I found it in a different section of the documentation, not in multi-tenancy, in getting started. By default, Filament will observe all global scopes registered to your model. 
you can disable that but by default if you have a global scope in your model filament will automatically catch that which means that just by defining global scope filament will enable multi-tenancy of course you need to automatically set the user id for that record and you can do that for example one of the ways you can use observers you can use events or something like that but the filament way is a method mutate form data before create in the create page of the resource and here you just set the user id and what happens then you have resource of memberships and you see only your own membership although in the database there are more membership records so in this case i've logged in with user id 12 and i don't see the records of user id 10 and 11. so this is the most simple multi-tenancy records by user with just global scope but if you want multi-tenancy by company or team or organization like filament offers let's take a look how to set that up I asked my colleague Nerius to do that for me. We actually only scratched the surface and didn't use all the features, but the basics is here. So you set up the panel by specifying the tenant model. Here I am in my panel provider of user panel provider, specifically in my project in here, I have a few panels. So there's admin panel and user panel. And in here in the panel configuration, you specify the model of tenancy which means that all the models that you want to divide by tenants would need to have a record a column sorry company id like in this case and then if you set up the tenant of company and you set up all the relationships in the eloquent model so this is outside of filament in the membership you have company here then in the user you have belongs to many so we scroll down and we have companies here belongs to many and also another thing by default filament implies that you have belongs to many which means user may belong to many companies or many teams or many organizations it's not a belongs to maybe in the future they will change that or i was offered to make a pull request myself maybe i will do that in the future but for now user belongs to many companies and then in the same user model you need to provide a few more things you need to implement an interface called has tenants this one has tenants if we click we have two methods here can access tenant and get tenants in get tenants you need to implement which is the method name companies here could be team it could be group it could be whatever and then can access tenant is very important for security reason and by default it should contain something like this so whether the tenant the current tenant of the user is among the companies they belong to if you don't specify that or if you just do return true here then someone else will be able to guess the company id put that into url and access that company data so this is pretty important then in the model of resource that you want to manage so membership in my case you need to define belongs to that tenant model in my case it's company it could be team or group again and vice versa in company you need to define has many relationship and then if we log in with a user that belong to some company for example we have user id 11 in company user it belongs to company four and also company two to multiple companies and let's see what happens we land in a dashboard of a company so user slash two means that the company is number two and in here you may choose switch between the tenants switch to a different company and then all the urls will contain that company id and then if we go to memberships we see three records of company id four so in the memberships we have this these three records doesn't matter which user it belongs to so i see all the records of my company and if i switch to company two which doesn't have any records i land on a dashboard again and memberships will be empty and that's it as you can see i didn't configure anything in the resource itself multi-tenancy works automatically and filters automatically because multi-tenancy is not about how you present the data it's about how you filter that so that happens on eloquent level with the help of configuration of filament in this video i only scratched the surface of multi-tenancy in documentation you can find many more things like adding tenant registration page customizing a lot of stuff profile page also important thing it has integration with billing with laravel spark so you can use filament now for full SaaS solution of multi-tenancy with billing with 
Laravel Spark as a provider, Spark billing provider, there's a separate package for that, and more things are in the docs, so I will link that in the description below for you to read. Also, probably you would ask, do they use any package for multi-tenancy, like architect tenancy or any others? And the answer is no. In all the documentation, I didn't find any Compose require except for that Spark. In version 2, there was a section in the documentation about architect's tenancy or stencil tenancy in the past, how to use that with that package. In this case, Filament went totally separate way of building their own tenancy, but for deeper optimizations, integrations, configurations, and all the other stuff, you may want to try to use external package with Filament. Maybe there are plugins. I haven't yet found the time to dive deeper into that topic because this video is already quite long. So in my course about Filament 3, which I'm shooting currently day by day, lesson by lesson, I will maybe cover multi-tenancy on a deeper level or create a separate course just on multi-tenancy because you can see how this topic could be very deep. And also since it's version 3.0 with filament, please be prepared that there may be some hiccups, some minor bugs, something missing from the documentation. Because for example, what I found, if you have memberships here and left navigation, you can choose your tenant. But if you change the provider to have top navigation like this, you refresh, and then you have the navigation and that tenant provider choice is gone. It's just not here. It wasn't built for the top navigation at the moment, or at least I haven't found it. So yeah, things like that may happen. It's still filament 3.0 at the moment and check the docs, join the discord, raise GitHub issues and talk to the founders. They are very active releasing minor versions of fixes and bugs every day. So yeah, that's all I can say for now about multi-tenancy in Filament 3. If you have any questions, which you probably do, let's discuss in the comments. And for a few more days, I will cover the rest of new features of Filament 3. So stay tuned for a few more videos. And the next week, we get back to typical Laravel topics. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.